Our scripture reading this morning comes to us from uh, Psalms number 27, verse 13 and 14. And there we find these words, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. May God bless now the hearing and reading of his word. Amen. 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 Turn with me to Psalms number 27. Amen. There you have heard earlier the reading of that 27th number, verses 13 and 14. Say amen. 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 And we want to share with you today um, this message, God still shows up. At times in her life, Mother Teresa felt abandoned by God. One day she had been walking the streets of Calcutta, searching for a house where she could start her work. At the end of the day, she would write this in her diary. I wandered the streets the whole day. My feet are aching, and I have not been able to find a home. I also get the tempter telling me, leave all this, go back to the convent from which you came. Eventually, Mother Teresa found her home, the missionaries of charity, which today feeds 500,000 families a year in Calcutta alone, treats 90,000 leprosy patients, and educates 20,000 children. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, each of us, like Mother Teresa, having done all uh, that we felt like we could do, to make a difference and to be what we are to be in this world. And it seems as if we are making no progress, uh, as if we are in it all by ourselves. My brothers and sisters, I want you to know this this morning, that God still shows up just as he did with Mother Teresa after a long search for a place where she ought to be. She would ultimately find that place and position in life and do as she was uh, led to do. My brothers and sisters, as we look at our lives through the lens of this 27th number of songs, uh, we see why it is that Mother Teresa felt the way that she felt. Uh, because all of us at various times in our lives tend to feel this way uh, when we would do what we would try to do and we wouldn't get the results that we felt we should get. Mm. Uh, we would feel like this psalmist, as he would share with us, I would have lost heart. My brothers, that's our plight and predicament, is that we find ourselves on various occasions as we sojourn here on planet Earth, uh, where we would lose heart. We uh, become discouraged. Uh, as we would look out over the horizons and uh, things are not as we would feel they ought to be. 
that's that's the plight of many uh, today and that very well might be the circumstance that you might be facing in life even as you sit here today those of you who are watching remotely you might be experiencing a time in your life where you want to throw in the towel where you want to give up uh, where you want to just simply lose hope contrast here in this text is his faith versus the danger that is expressed uh, we would see the remnants of his faith peeking from behind the curtain by what he says next. He says, I would have lost heart. But then he would filter his next words with this unless. Uh, the unless in this sentence changes the direction, it pivots. Uh, all that he would feel next based on these words that follows unless well, what is it he says unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living my brothers and sisters it's his faith that pivots him it's his faith that causes him not to actually lose heart but to be able to remain in the fight to carry on with his purpose and God's plan for him all because of the fact that he believed that God still shows up in his life my brothers and sisters that's truth still would resonate with you and I. We all remember and know this for ourselves as well, that God will show up. God will show up on time. God will show up in time. But God will show up. Yes, uh, when we feel like we are about to let go, when we feel like we are about to head for the shower room, we, it seems as if we're just going to throw in the towel and hang it all up. My brothers and sisters, God still shows up. God wants us to continue to trust and believe him and know that God will be there for us. What it is that the psalmist saw. He saw uh, the goodness of the Lord. So in the midst of his predicament, he could still see God. Is there anyone here today that regardless of what it is that you're facing in life, regardless of what it is that you're going through from one day to the next, you can still see God. Yeah. 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 You can still see him showing up in your life. You can still see his hand of mercy resting upon your shoulders. You can still feel the power of his presence in your life. Yeah. It's what made the difference in David's life. He knew that sooner or later that he would see the goodness of God yes. right here in the land of the living. Yes, uh, there, are, there are some things that he has promised us over in glory. But my brothers and sisters, all that God has purpose in our lives, uh, yes, uh, it is not delayed until we re reach heaven. There are some things that God is doing in our lives even today. Yes, uh, and so my brothers and sisters, as he would uh, contrast his faith with his danger, 
um, our present day hope and triumph is predicated upon our belief system. Yes, uh, uh, it, it's determined by our faith. Yes, if we would have faith the size of a mustard seed. Yes, uh, if we would turn to the Lord in the midst of our struggles, if we would get down on our knees and bow our heads, Lord, and, and, and talk to him about yeah. what it is we are facing in life. Yes. yes, we can see the goodness of the Lord. We can know that God still shows up. Psalmist is speaking to himself to encourage himself in a firmer confidence in God. Yes, the believing half of his soul is addressing the despondent and weaker half of his soul. Yes, uh, sometimes my brothers and sisters, uh, before we run off to preach the message to somebody else, we've got to preach it to ourselves Amen. first. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, on our way to be a blessing, uh, yes, we've got to remind ourselves that we are blessed. We are blessed. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yes, we've got to remind ourselves that God is still in the blessing business. Uh, yeah, that he's still making a way out of no way. That he's still lifting up, bow down heads. He's still. Yes, he is. Yes. Um, he's not self-reliant um, as he speaks to himself. But even as he speaks to himself, uh, notice the psalmist David. Yes, uh, it is, is relying on the power and presence of God. Yes, his belief is in what the Lord can do. Yes, there's a lot of things that God has empowered us to do in life. Yes, uh, through the aid and unctioning of his Holy Spirit in our lives. Uh, but we have to be reminded that it's only because the cord is plugged into the power source. Uh, yes, that the, that the machinery is able to function. Uh, that the light is able to come on. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, we've got to be plugged in. Mm if we would hope to see the goodness of the Lord yes, uh, yes. in the land of the living. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of things that I cannot do in my own strength, yes. but the Lord can. Mm -hmm. There are many things that I cannot achieve on my own, but the Lord can. Amen. Can I get a witness Amen. today? Amen. Yeah, there are many doors that have been shut in my face. Yes. yes, but it's the Lord who can open them up. Yes, Lord. Yes. Uh, do you know that the Lord can? Yes, we serve a can-do God. Uh, yes, we serve a God who is able to do all things. Yes, above all that we ask or think. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, so in spite of our predicament, uh, yes, uh, that would, would, would battle in our soul, uh, yes, then find us uh, feeling a little helpless and hopeless at times, uh, yes, we must remind ourselves, uh, yes, as we would look up. Yes, uh, and see the hand of God resting upon our lives uh, and know that God still shows up in the midnight hour. God still shows up. Yes, when we are carrying burdens and a load, uh, yes, that is maxing us out, uh, God still shows up. God has a plan and a purpose for our life. And God would have you to know and understand that you ought not give up. Yes, you ought not. Yes, uh, head for the locker room. Yes, look at the 14th verse. It says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. 
Yes, first thing that we've got to do if we will see God showing up in our situations in life is that we've got to pump our brakes. Amen. We've got to wait on the Lord. Uh, yes, I know that it's oftentimes difficult for us to be patient. Uh, yes, it's oftentimes difficult for us, uh, yes, uh, to, to wait on the Lord, to remain in one place longer than a few seconds. Uh, yes, but God will tell us this morning that if we are to get where God wants us to be in life, we cannot get ahead of him. Uh, yes, we cannot launch out on our own. Uh, Yes, but we must be reliant on the power and presence of God in our lives. Yes, we must uh, yes, submit our lives under the mighty hand of God. Wait on him. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, he says that we all wait. Uh, yes, uh, it, it, would, it would tell us and remind us that we ought to sit in confident expectation. Yes, uh, the last clause literally uh, would remind us uh, that we would wait as if expecting new measures of help yes. to show up in our lives. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, uh, God is telling us to wait not in a position or posture of sitting on our hands, uh, but we ought to wait uh, with the blessed assurance and hope that is found in him, yes. knowing that God, yes, can bring it to pass, knowing that God can work it out yes. in our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, as we look at our lives, uh, yes, uh, um, as we look at uh, predicaments that will show up in our lives uh, at one point or another, as clouds would sometimes form over our heads, uh, and as we would feel the raindrops falling on our heads uh, from time to time, uh, my brothers and sisters, we all look at this thing from the perspective uh, that God has a plan. Yes, uh, if I could just simply portray God as the quarterback for a moment. Uh, yes, some of your uh, sports fans, uh, yes, uh, and you like to watch football. Uh, yes, if God uh, is like the quarterback, uh, and every now and then God will call an audible. Yes, uh, it, it might be... Uh, Yes, uh, a little different from what was planned on the sideline. Uh, yeah, it might be a little different from what was talked about, uh, yes, in the locker room, uh, yes, or uh, in practice that week, uh, yes, but sometimes God will call an audible in our lives. Yes, yes. He'll say to the wide receiver, I want you to do it down and out and wait on the Lord. Can I get a witness? Ah, uh, he'll tell the lineman, I want you to block with everything you've got. Mm. Yes, uh, and wait on the Lord. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. yes uh, he tells me, my brothers and sisters, uh, to wait on the Lord. Uh, yes, he tells you uh, that you ought to wait on the Lord. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, sometimes in life, uh, yes, we... We planned it out, uh, yes, we purposed it uh, uh, to go one particular way, uh, yes, but sometimes, uh, yes, the wide receiver who uh -huh. was supposed to receive the ball, uh, yes, uh, uh, cannot because somebody double teamed him. Yes, can I get a witness? Uh, yes, so somebody else, uh, yes, got to be alert, ready, and waiting uh, in order to receive what God is trying to do next. If we become so stuck uh, in who we are and what we have decided. Yes, we might miss the next opportunity that God is about to throw our way. Yes, wait on the Lord. 
know that God will show up. Yes, even when it feels as if it's too silent in your life. Uh, yes, even when it feels as if you're all alone. If, even when it feels as though you're by yourself, there's nobody to encourage you, nobody to strengthen you, nobody to hold your hand, nobody to lift you up. Uh, yes, I want you to know that God still shows up. He's still there in the land of the living. Yes, you're not Get in a hurry and run off without the Lord. Yes, uh, but you ought to hold on to God's unchanging hand. When the storms of life are raging, uh, wait on the Lord. Yes. yes, when the sun is shining and it looks like a beautiful day, you ought to wait on the Lord. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, my daddy used to always uh, warn me about getting in a hurry. Uh, yes, uh, and sometimes he would tell me when I was a little boy coming up, he said, don't you dare run off with your shoes untied. Mm. Yes, uh, you'll find yourself tripping up over your shoelaces. Uh, yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, the best way for us to trip up in life uh, is to run off ahead of God. Yes, uh, we ought not uh, leave God behind in the dust, but we ought to wait for that still small voice as God would show up in our lives and he would speak into our circumstances. Uh, he'll speak into our illness. He'll speak to our infirmities. Uh, yes, we ought to just wait on the Lord. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, secondly, we ought not just wait, but we ought to wait. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, with the fervent expectation of what is on the way. Yes. So he tells us that we ought to be of good courage. Mm -hmm. Yes, while I wait on the Lord, I won't complain. Yes, uh, while I wait on the Lord, I will wait with joy in my heart. Yes, while I wait on the Lord, uh, yes, I'll have a merry soul. Can I get a witness? Yes, while I wait on the Lord. While you wait on the Lord. Uh, yes, will you have a, a glad heart? Yes, while you wait on the Lord. Uh, yes, will you wait? Uh, yes, with hope for a brighter day. Uh, yes, uh, while you wait on the Lord, will you be of good courage? Good courage. Yes, uh, that, that sometimes, uh, yes, that we'll wait, uh, yes, uh, but we'll mumble and complain. We'll grumble, uh, yes, and cast doubt. While we wait, uh, yes, uh, we'll talk about everybody, uh, yes, uh, yes. While we wait, we'll gossip, uh, yes. While we wait, uh, yes, we're throwing stones uh, in this direction and that direction. Can I get a witness? Uh, yes, but God says that we ought to wait and be of good courage. Yes, while I wait, I will be encouraged. Will you find courage to see that God still shows up in your circumstances? Will you know that God has a plan for your life? Listen to the promise of God that he shares with us right here in the text. He says, and he shall strengthen your heart. As God would give us the instructions, he would tell us what it is that we ought to do. Then he follows it up with what he will do in return. He says, and he shall strengthen your heart. My brothers and sisters, if you wait, he says, I'll show up. Yes, with strength. Yes, you just keep on waiting on me. I know you feeling tired and discouraged. Yes, I know that you feel as if it ought to have happened by now. 
Yes, but my brothers and sisters, if you wait, God will show up with the strength for you to be able to run the rest of the race. And if you wait on him, God will continue to move you along, press you forward in the journey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. I like that song by William Beckham. It goes like this. Said, be encouraged, no matter what's going on, because he'll make it all right. But you gotta stay strong. I know right now it seems impossible to see, but God is gonna work it out if you just believe. Remember this one thing: while you're going through. If God delivered that, he'll do the same for you. Can I get a witness? Amen. I mean, that's, that's all David is saying here in this 27th number of songs. Yes, uh, that we ought to just trust in the Lord. Yes, God will work it out. reason why he can continue to press on and move forward. The reason why he doesn't give up and the same reason why you should not give up either is because he knows that God is the God who still shows up. Yes. And my brothers and sisters, the reason why I say He's the God that still shows up is because in days gone by, he has already shown up in my life. Yes, I, and so today I can say that he still shows up because on yesterday he showed up. On last week he showed up. On last year he showed up. My brothers and sisters, when I was in college, he showed up. Can I get a witness here that can say God still shows up because you have a personal experience with him and you know that he showed up in days gone by and so you can trust him he will still show up on tomorrow next week next year that God will still show up yes he will yes he will yes he will yes it's not your strength or my strength but it's the strength of the Lord he is strong and mighty in battle Yes, uh, and so I say to him, right on, conquering king. Yes, uh, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for things. Right on, conquering king. Yes, he's able to make a way out of no way. Yes, he's able to open doors that are shut in our faces. Uh, yes, he's able to deliver us. Uh, yes, from the storm and the rain. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, he's able. So there's no reason for me to give up. Yes, uh, there's no reason for me to curl up in fetal position. Uh, yes, uh, uh, with my thumb in my mouth, feeling as if all is lost and, and all is hopeless. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, because I know that God still shows up. Yes, uh, and, and he says that God shows up in the land of the living. Yes. Uh, uh, but even here in the land of the living, yes, at some point in time in our lives, uh, we've got to suffer death. Yes. Uh, there is uh, an end of the journey down here. Yes. Uh, and so while it's the land of the living, it's also the land of the dying. Yes, uh, but I want you to know this, that there's coming a day. Yes, uh, when we'll truly enter the land of the living, uh, the land where there is no more. 
Yes, no more tears. Uh, yes, staining our faces. Uh, yes, no more aches and pain racking our bodies. Uh, yes, no more sleepless nights. Uh, yes, no more heartache and pain. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, we are in the land uh, of some more, but we are on our way to a land uh, of no more. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, we'll pass from death unto life, uh, life eternal. Uh, yes, yes where well, we'll be able to be in the presence of the yes. Lord forevermore. Uh, yes, when yes. we'll enter into the new Canaan land. Uh, yes, the new Jerusalem. Uh, yes, all things are passed away and all things have become new. My brothers and sisters, I'm on my way. Yes, to that place, uh, yes, that God has prepared for his children. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, we lost some folk uh, down here. Uh, yes, we've suffered some casualties down here. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, I've got good news. Yes, uh, I, I got good news that there'll be no more heartache. Yes, when we get to glory. Yes, soon and very soon. Yes, I'm going yes. to see the king. Yes, yes. yes. hallelujah. 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 Yes. I'm going to see the king. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, as I prepare to sit down now, I just want you to know that you can have the courageous confidence in knowing that God still shows up. Yes, yes if you would but receive him as your own personal savior yes, today. Yes. yes, if you would invite him into your heart and into your life, yes, you too, yes, can have hope in knowing that tomorrow is going to be better yes. than your today. Yes. You can get up from where you are. You. Yes, uh, and God will see you through. Yes, thank you. Yes, he'll be there for you yes. in the midst of the storms and the rain. If you would just simply accept his invitation today. Thank you. God is waiting for you to simply say yes to him. Yes. God is waiting for you to simply invite him into your heart, into your life. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, I want to pray with you right now. Yes, uh, Lord, we thank you today for your word that you would share with us that we can be confident and courageous knowing that you're good to us even in the land of the living, even while we're here yes. walking to and from. Lord, that you're there in the midst of it all. Yes. And so we pray, Lord, for that individual, Lord, that they would make Jesus their choice this morning, yes. that they would invite you into their lives, Lord, that you would prompt their hearts that you would allow them to come in your direction. Those, Lord, who have already received you as Lord and Savior of their lives, Lord, we pray that you would build them up in their most holy faith and allow them to connect their faith with their predicament and know that you're on the way, yes. that you're going to make the difference in their circumstances. Bless now in Jesus' name. Amen.